sometimes I meet an idea and I say that idea is so high I'm not sure it's even relevant to my own life but then when I look deeper I say wow that idea is actually relevant this thing happened when I learned the following paragraph in Rav Kook. And he says that, it's, that sometimes a tzaddik gamu, someone who tries all the time to be a tzaddik, he tries to uplift himself, it's hard for him to be a Baal Tshuva, a person of repentance. And I said to myself, me, tzaddik gamu, I try all, I don't try every second of my life to learn Torah, to do mitzvot. What is this idea relevant to me? And then when I look deeper into it and to understand what does Tzadik Amur mean, what's Baal Tshuvas, I said this idea is relevant probably to everyone who I know, for sure for myself. A Tzadik Amur is someone who tries to uplift every moment of himself. He's disconnected from this world. From his point of view, iPhone that, that doesn't care about it. It doesn't talk to him. All of his body is inside Torah. A Baal Tshuva is connected to our life. He, he, he lives in this world and he tries to uplift it. Sometimes someone who's so uplifted, he can't uplift things which are below him. But us, Baal we can be Baal Tshuva. We are connected to the world and we have the power to, to take the lower thing, take the iPhone and, and learn Torah with it. Our friends connected to holiness of Judaism, of the nation. Sadi Gamur, sometimes he needs to lower himself to, to our world, but we are already in our world, and we know what a Baal Tshuva is. We know the difference between them. So we can use our power, which might be a weakness, of being connected to this world, turn it into a power and uplifting everything which is around us.